my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Happy hump day, everyone. We're halfway through the week. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I worked the election yesterday and it was a breeze, but it was a long day. I think we had like seven voters, y'all. Seven. Okay. But we didn't mind. <laughs> okay. But I have a rather nice size Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. And I think I'm going to do a live for the rest of my birthday gifts and cards so I can do everything all at one time because it just, it, it, it overtakes me trying to incorporate a little bit of in, in every video. So I hope everyone that sent me something doesn't mind. I will announce on my community page when I'm going live so everybody can come over and help celebrate. And I will have gifts and trivia games that we usually do. I will ask you questions like I usually do in the first one to answer it correctly. We'll win some prizes when you attend the live. So without further ado, let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. Welcome back everyone. Okay, sweet. I am just gone completely mask crazy, or should I say the Dollar Tree has gone completely mask crazy because I showed you guys the um, Newport Soul Rescue mask in the last haul, and I also showed you the Chin Up ones, and I told you I wouldn't mind using these, either of these, and that I had not found the neck lift one. Well, of course, I found it by K-Beauty Newport. This is the Neck Lift Firming Hydrogel Neck Patch. It says it helps smooth skin, benefits skin texture, complexion glow, ooh, and it's one patch, and it goes right underneath your neck. So, again, this is something that I will not mind using. You know, I will not be afraid of it breaking, breaking me out. And each of the patches have a little bit about me. I'm a firming hydrogel patch that strengthens the neck area by revitalizing dry and dull skin. <clears throat> Excuse me. The powerful combo of seaweed plus herb extracts restores skin hydration while giving you the added smoothness. No more neglect for the neck. <laughs> so that's what this one says. I never did read the chin up about me yeah they all have about me but i'm not going to go into that because this video will be way too long and these are two masks y'all that i don't i can't figure out if i showed y'all already so i'm gonna show you again just to make sure i'm covered but i believe i showed you i'm not sure okay anyway this one is a soothing restoring by naturals it's soothing collagen face mask infused with cucumber and aloe and it's by BioMiracle. It says natural extracts, paraben-free, not tested on animals. And I'll, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this one before. But my ring light, I'm using my little um, selfie ring light from the Dollar Tree. And I don't want you guys to see that light. Because it was kind of hard to put it on the phone this with it positioned this way. But I got one of those. Y'all know all those going gifts for y'all. This one is Pretty Animals, with a Z on the end. Pretty Animals, okay? <laughs> this is um, by Mass Bar, and this is Owl Hydrating Sheet Mask. Hybo, oh, another language, sorry. They got it in like 50 different languages here. It just says it is a Pretty Animal Mass Bar. And then they have it in all that small print back there, and I can't read it, but uh, this is a South Korea mask. It looks like this, and I found this down in Emporia, Virginia. As y'all see, I broke a nail this morning, jammed it into the stove while I was cleaning off the top of my stove, but it's all good. You know, I'm probably going to cut them all off anyway and let them start all over again like I always do, but yeah. So, yeah, pretty animals, and I don't see masks like this in my stores in my area anywhere. So I got that one. And then I think I got this one from Emporia, Virginia as well. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But this is a milk chocolate cream mask. It says milk chocolate cream mask, moisturizing, pore refining, contains cocoa extract, milk protein extract. Okay. 
So it is by Ingredients Brand. I N period ingredients brand. And it looks like this. A milk chocolate cream mask. Never saw that before. And this is this is made in Canada, Toronto, Canada. So I got this one. Y'all know to go into the upcoming giveaways. I'm also considering canceling my um, Sesame Street giveaway now that that reminded me of it because so many people are doing the Sesame Street giveaways right now. I think I'm going to hold off, not cancel, cancel, but just delay it for another time so everybody else, you know, can go over to the other channels because I am in a collab that I keep forgetting to remind you guys about. Um, orchestrated by Marina, and there's several women in, in it, and we're all giving away the Sesame Street Wet n' Wild Beauty items, okay? So, oh, the selfie light just went out. Oh, wow. I didn't know it goes out on its own. Why did that do that? Hmm. That's wild. Okay, let's try this again. So, anyway, I will put all the names of everybody that's participating in the Sesame Street um, Wet n' Wild Beauty collab. And you have to be a subscriber to all of our channels. You have to go over and, of course, watch their channels and um, whenever they're doing their giveaways so you can know when they're doing their giveaways. But it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, Constance from um, Butterfly Mom Creation, Mercedes from One Crafty Ginger, Issa from Issa Life, um, Amy from the Amy and Ollie Show, Lynn from Linen Things, and myself. And I hope I didn't leave anybody out. But I'm going to leave all the information down in the description box. And all of us will be giving away one set, one whole set. Oh, my God, my girl. Michelle from Money Minded Michelle. Sorry, Michelle. I felt like I was forgetting somebody. Michelle from Money Minded Michelle, and she's already showed her items. Lynn and Things have already showed her items. So, yeah, you have to go over and check out these um, wonderful ladies' channels so you can see what, they're, what they have and what they're giving away. I don't think everybody's set is exactly the same because I saw... Something in Michelle's giveaway that I didn't see in Linen Things giveaway. But anywho, go over, check out their channels. I will leave all the information down in the description box. And good luck to everyone because this is an awesome, awesome set. Okay, moving on to this Dollar Tree haul. I am finally, finally got to remember it, y'all. Okay, my sweets. I know I'm all over the place and my selfie light keeps going off and I don't know why. So we're just going to leave it off. And hope to God that there's enough light here because I don't know why it keeps going off. But I guess you can only have it on for a certain amount of time. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. I've been all over the place, y'all. You just have to forgive me. There's so much stuff going on. And I wish I could say it was good stuff. But it's not. Okay. But it's life. Life is lifing. Okay. But moving on to this Dollar Tree haul, I found um, some new masks by B. Pierre. They had the first rounds that they came out with looked like the soda pop, soda pop ones, which were cherry, grape, and something else. But now they have stuff coming out in a, like a bottle. It looks like a bottle. And they have the watermelon by B. Pierre. And these are sheet masks. And they also have a strawberry that I had in my hand, but I couldn't remember if I had gotten it already, so I put it back. But I'll show you in another haul. But they have a strawberry and a watermelon, and these are in the shape of the bottles, not the soda pop um, containers. And of course, they put that 125 up there. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. It's just made with hydrolonic acid and watermelon and grapefruit extracts. Okay. Got that one. And then this one is by Be Pure as well. This is Refreshing and Smoothing Thighs Sheet Mask. Yeah, I said it right. I said thighs, okay? Uh, this says, with hydrolytic acid and caffeine. Check it out. One pair. So you get a pair in here by Be Pure. I thought it was by Newport at first, but it's by Be Pure. And you can see 
where she's putting the mask, the sheet mask on the back of her thighs. So yeah, it's a, it's a mask for, for your thighs. I was like, uh, hello, <laughs> why do we need a mask for our thighs? I don't know, but it tells you how to use it. Apply each sheet on the leg of the back thigh area on clean, dry skin, blah, blah, blah. It's a 10 to 20 minute um, mask. So yeah, I grabbed it and I'm going to try it because it's not like it's going on my face. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. I showed you guys this in a previous walkthrough a while ago. And y'all know my stuff sits here for a little while, so. But this is by Extra Care. They say it's compared to Neutrogena on the spot. Spot acne treatment, vanishing cream, fights acne, causing bacteria. And y'all know I'll be paying a lot of money for my proactive if I should need it. I told y'all one time there, I look like a leper, okay? My face just broke completely out. And it took my brother coming home from California to say, what's up with your face <laughs> for me to do something? Because I saw it, but I ignored it. I hated looking in the mirror. But anyway, proactive is what saved my skin, okay? Because it worked miracles. It cleared my face completely up. But anyway, this is by Dollar Tree. It's benzoyl peroxide acne medication, spot acne treatment. And that's basically all I use for proactive now because proactive is so expensive now. And of course, I'm no longer working where I got paid every week, <laughs> you know, where I could afford proactive. I no longer can. So I'm hoping if I should have any kind of breakouts, you know, this, oh, uh, this will take care of it. Or as Ricky on the Lucy show says, this'll does it, okay? So I picked that up. And then I got a couple of these body butters. And I like body butters. And I mostly use it on the lower end of my body, like my legs and my feet. But I, I love body butter. This is lime verbena scented. This is not new. We've seen this before. It just says body butter. And it looks like this. And it's the lime verbena, not lemon looks like this okay and I believe they are sealed yes they are sealed which is nice let's see if we can just get a grab a whiff of this real quick because yeah I like anything citrusy I like anything lemony um, yeah if it smells like fruit I'm there so I'm gonna cut this open because the seal is not pulling up ooh, ooh, ooh. don't waste any of my body butter Okay. Hmm. Well, it's not the smell I was looking for. It's more like a. It smells more like a, a cleaner of subtype, but it looks like this. But it's not exactly. Yeah, it smells more like a, some type of cleaner that you would you would use to clean something. It does feel very, very hydrating on the skin. But again, we're talking the Dollar Tree, so I don't know. It's just, I'm a little disappointed because I really wanted that citrusy, lime, lemon kind of smell. But again, my feet won't mind it. <laughs> my feet will not mind it at all. So we're gonna put that over there. And then this one is Ying Yang Scented. Okay, so this is another body butter. And we, like I said, we've had these before. I think we had them over the Christmas holiday with the whole sets, the lotions and stuff like that. And it looks almost like the lime. Okay. <clears throat> but this is Ying Yang or Ling Lang or whatever, however y'all say it. I think it's Ying Yang Scented. So I don't know what that is, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Let me see. Oh, I think I like this one better, y'all. And it's kind of like have the bluish tint to it. Well, again, not my favorite, but it looks like this has like a bluish tint to it. But I believe I actually like this one. Yeah, I like this one a little bit better than the um, lime one. But again... My feet won't, my feet will not mind it, okay? My lower legs and thighs and stuff will not mind it. So let me throw those down there, get this out from underneath my nails, and we will move right on, 
Okay, my sweets. I found these Copper Care Help Soothe Aches and Muscle Pains Copper Compression Gloves for Hands in Pink. And it says two pack adult, one size fits most. You know, like all the Copper Care stuff says one size fits most. The only difference in these, y'all, is that they came in pink. And it says new right there. Okay. Oh, I hate that short nail. Ooh. And they look like this. So you have them on here like this. So I guess she's shearing her um, her her hedges. And I was like, you know, oh, these are kind of cute. Oh, so, all right. Let's see. Look at this. These are kind of cute. And they have the little, um, gr I guess, grippies. <coughs> no, it's not even a grippy. It's just a design. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I don't have any of my rings on. It's just a few. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Just a few of my everyday rings. <coughs> but look at that. <coughs> fit, fit size most. So, yeah, they fit really, really well. But look at that. That's different. I'm kind of glad I got it. And it says Copper Care right there. Wow. Okay, my sweet, sorry. I had one of my coughing spells because my fan is on. But yeah, I've never seen these in the pink. So I grabbed a pair of those. And then I saw these. And I've already purchased these several times and gifted them to other people. I think I sent Miss Laura a set and some other people. But I decided to finally pick... Um, pick them up for myself. These are from Crafter Square bracelet and necklace findings. And they have it. They don't tell you how many is in here, but they have it in the silver. So you can fix your jewelry. If your jewelry should break, lots of times this is what I lose are these pieces right here. So I decided, Sadie, go get you a pack in silver. Okay. And in gold. Like I said, I've I've hauled these before because I've gifted them to um, other people. So I finally decided to pick me up a pack for myself. And then, while well, I'm still seeing the Shore Fresh Air Fryer Parchment Paper Liners, even though I have two, I think, from Dollar Tree already, plus the ones I got from Timu. And I asked my sister if she needed any more, and she said no, she was fine because I was going to grab another pack in her size, because I take the small ones, and she takes the large ones, but anyway, I picked up another pack of my Shore Fresh um, parchment liners for my air fryer, because, um, you know, Dollar Tree never carries anything, very rarely do they carry stuff like this on a regular basis, so I'm seeing less and less and less of them every time I go to the Dollar Tree, so I am went ahead and grabbed me some while I saw them, and y'all know how we've all... <sighs> Been on the hunt for the Sesame Street wet and wild items. The only thing I was really looking for was the bags, and I never did find them. So, but because we need that fix, <laughs> we've been seeing these items in the Dollar Tree forever. <laughs> What's that from, y'all? <laughs> forever. Okay. But I had to get it, and this is going to be part of my collab, whether it's with the group collab or with my my personal giveaway when I get to 10k I had to get them we've seen them over and over and over again this is the, <laughs> the Sesame Street a little figurines and this is the big bird one <clears throat> I had to get it that was me getting my my Sesame Street um fix <laughs> I've seen the what is it? The water ball and several other items, but I controlled myself with them. But I thought this would be cute to stick in with my giveaway. So, of course, we've got, who is this? Elmo. <laughs> we've got Elmo right here. Okay. We've got Abby Kadabby. <laughs> and they've always had these, y'all. So, these are not new, but... That was my way of soothing my heart for not finding my, my um, Sesame Street cosmetic bag. But y'all know, I found everything else mostly, okay? Anyway, I got the Cookie Monster, of course. Me want cookies. <laughs> so cute. And then I got the best of the best. 
Oscar the Grouch in his garbage can. <laughs> so each of these, and I keep, I will keep one for myself because I told y'all before I'm keeping one of the sets for me. And I found this a while ago, you guys, and it got buried down here in the muck of all of my Dollar Tree stuff. This is a multicolor, they're calling it a multicolor crayon. It's for ages three plus. It's got all the little gummy bears, or they look like gummy bears on them in different colors. And these are the pens, I believe, that you can pile on top of each other when you want to change out. Let me see if I can open this. Well, I'm missing that pointer finger nail, y'all. <clears throat> I guess you don't miss, you don't know how much you use something until you lose it. But yeah, it looks like this. And of course, y'all see that purple down there. It's blue. Another kind of blue, green, yellow, orange, clear, red, and pink. Aren't they cute? So every time you want to use a pen, here you can see the marker right there. That's the purple one. But then again, if you want to use another one, you just take this and pile it on top of this one, I think. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Hold on. I did it wrong. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take the purple one, put it on top of the pink, and then you have the blue. And the cap you keep off until you want to close it up. So whatever color you want to use, you're going to have that cap on there, but you can change it out to whichever color. And they're actually markers. They write more like a marker than a pen. So I guess that's why they're calling it crayon. Uh-oh, what did I do with my notebook? <clears throat> I don't know. But let's see this one. I usually have a notebook, and Odessa just gave me all my pads, and I don't even know where they are yet. So we're going to go into the back. We're going to take the blue one, and we're going to write, oh, okay, a little on the light side. Mm, not really seeing the color. I guess maybe I need to write it a little bit harder, but it, I just wrote, hello. I should have wrote, hello. <laughs> But, yeah, I just thought it was cute. Y'all know when I get to that fun find and to the register, and they have cute little stuff like that, and they're all little bears, I have to get it. So, I grabbed that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, my sweet. Once again, I forgot that I had bought some already and had them sitting down here in one of my bags and went back and bought some more. I've showed you these before. These are the Dr. Pepper Jack Link. Um, beef sticks, and I absolutely love these. They are so good, you guys. So these definitely will not go to waste. I love them. And their expiration date is la 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 la, um, October 24th. So I had three already. <laughs> and when I saw them again, I went and bought two more. So now I have five, which like I said, <clears throat> Great little snacks in between meals. Then I saw this one, and this one looked new to me. This is Teriyaki by Old Trapper, and it's called a snack stick, and it's in the taste of, oh, teriyaki. Okay, yeah, teriyaki. <laughs> so it looks like this. Let me see if I can get this to roll up. This is Teriyaki by Old, who is that? Trapper. And it's a teriyaki beef stick, but look how fat it is. It's much thicker than the normal Slim Jims or beef sticks. So it looks like that. And it's good until January of 2025. And it's just calling itself a snack stick, but in teriyaki. So I grabbed that one because it looked new to me. It looked different to me. And then I got a Slim Jim, six grams of protein by Vlasic. This is a dill pickle smoked snack stick and it is good until um what does that say december of 2024 so this one looks like this slim jim vlasic name brand a dill pickle y'all snack stick and of course it's thinner but i've never seen them in the dill pickle i saw them in another flavor as well but i didn't get that one because <clears throat> I love anything that tastes like pickles, like the popcorn and potato chips. So I was like, hey, a beef stick and dill pickles? Okay, I'll give it a whirl. 
So I got that. And then I found these really, really cute, like decal um, stickers that you could put on your water bottles, your notebooks, whatever you want. They had so many in both the stores that I went to. They had different ones of like cartoons I never even heard of. They had Frozen. They had, um, what was it, SpongeBob SquarePants, whatever. But anyway, I got the Space Jam because I just, you know, this is the era that I grew up with. <clears throat> and this is just one sheet. And they have it where you could put it on your water bottle, your phone, or your computer. And this one looks like this, <laughs> Toon Squad. And I thought it was so cute. And y'all know I love my Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and all of them. So I grabbed this one. This is what it looks like. So you can put it what on whatever you want to stick it on. And then I found this one. And then I only saw this one at one store. And I grabbed three of them. This is Room by Room Skate, one sheet by Marvel Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Ah, look at that. I was like, oh my God. And again, it shows you water bottles, phone, computers, laptops, whatever. But it's by Marvel, if you can see it right there. But I got three of these. So I don't know who's gonna be the lucky person to get one, but I know one of them is mine and one of them is my sister. And the other one will be one of those gifts for my live, okay? So, <clears throat> I did pick up three of those. And I couldn't help myself. Both my stores had their entire setup of the Bee and the Lemon new collection. And I know I have my old plates up here. But I'm going to find another easel. And I'm going to put this one up there somewhere. Because it's just so darn cute. It's like, you are the Bee's knees. And I only get the smaller plates. So... I got this one. I hope I didn't get it already because I told y'all I'm losing it, girl. I can't keep up with anything no more. But it's by Royal Norfolk, and I'm hoping I got the lemon one. Yeah, it was the lemon one I got because I have it in my kitchen already. But I had to get the, the B one. And I had not seen the smaller saucers when I first found those because she had not finished setting up her display but my stores had them both so i grabbed that you want to see the whole setup go check out my shorts okay because i think i have them both up on on my shorts all right coming up to the last few items and this video will be over okay my sweets we've all been seeing these for a while these are the feastables mr beast cookies now when i first found these um feastable cookies i found them in only chocolate chip only and then i think i saw the peanut butter ones on Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, Marina's channel. And so I went looking for them and I found them the very next day, but I had to go all the way down to Virginia. But then once I found the peanut butter ones, then I couldn't find the chocolate chip ones anymore. But anywho, I did find them both. These are the Fista Bowls, Mr. Beast cookies. And these things are so good, y'all. I remember the first time I tried the chocolate chip one with, with y'all in the car. I was just amazed, all right, because they're soft, they're chewy, they taste like they were almost just baked, and they're delicious, absolutely, absolutely delicious, so it's like plant-based, gluten-free, it is a six-ounce bag, and these are great, absolutely great, if you have kids and stuff, they would love these, so I did get two bags, and somehow, some way, I opened both bags, if you see this one, that one's open, <laughs> and this one is almost empty, but I got my peanut butter ones, all right? And then I've recently found the chocolate chip, and that's all I saw today was the chocolate chip. I did not see any of the peanut butter ones, but I've already showed you guys these before. These are delicious. I don't even know which one I like the best. I was leaning to the chocolate chip, then I was leaning to the peanut butter, but I believe I like the chocolate chip better overall. So I picked up two more bags of these. I forgot to tell you the expiration date on this is um, June 11th of 2024 for the chocolate chip ones. And this one is um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Huh? December, December 18th, 2024. 
So the peanut butter ones are good into December, and the chocolate chip ones are good into um, June. But hey, they'll both be gone way, way, way before that, because I eat those cookies, y'all. And the last item in this haul for today, my sweets, is something completely new to me. I didn't need them, but I love them, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, this half sand, y'all. I've already eaten one bag of the gummies that I just showed you that I got as a gift from Odessa. I've already tore one bag of those. But I found these today, and they don't say they're new, but they look very, very new to me. These are 4D, 3D plus delicious fruit gummy strawberry burst. It's this artificially flavored, it's 3D shaped, juice filled. And it's a net weight of three ounces. And it's Best Buy is, uh, what does that say? Um, February 14th, 2026. It says Amos, the world's candy in innovator. And they say they're gluten-free. I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree. And if I did, I don't remember seeing them. And like I said, they don't say new. But if you could see those um, 3D strawberries with the juice in them. Can y'all see that? I was like really, really, really anxious to try these because I typically like the gummies with the burst of juice and it just says Amos. Yeah. And that's it. And then I found this one, which is just the dinosaur ones. And it pretty much says the same thing. Amos 4D. And this is gummy dinosaurs, fruity flavors. 3.53 ounce um, package, and it says it's made with real fruit juice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the expiration date on this is Best Buy. You can't, it doesn't have a number here. Hmm. It doesn't have a Best Buy. It says Best Buy, but it doesn't have a Best Buy. So these look like this <laughs> dinosaur gummies. And that's what they look like on the back. So, I was like, same as Amos? No, that's not the same guy. <laughs> He's a chocolate chip cookie guy. But I've never seen these, and so I grabbed them because y'all know I love me some gummies, okay? And this one was really, really different to me. This is by Amos as well. As well. This is called Peelers Gummy Mango. It says peelable. It's mango flavored. It's a three ounce package. It says it's made with real fruit juice. And its Best Buy is August 18th, 2025. And it looks like this. I'm like, what? Peelers? Okay, because so we're going to open one of these, okay? <laughs> because I, ooh, that smell. Whoa. <laughs> that smell is like, okay, so they come out looking like this. I almost thought it was a banana, but it's a mango. And they say they're peelers. So what do you, how do you peel it? I don't know. It says peelable. Okay, so I've got this point. Let me say, I'm trying to peel it, y'all, but it ain't peeling. Ugh. All right. Ugh. No, it's not peelable. It's not. Oh, it's like gummy. It's not peeling. I don't know why it says peelable, but. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's not bad, especially if you like mango, but it does say it's peelable, so I don't get it. I don't know. Mm. It's got a nice flavor, y'all. Really, really good. So it's 90 calories per serving for four pieces, <laughs> 260 calories for the whole package. So they look new to me. And I grabbed them, and they looked like they were missing some because there was a couple of hangers next to them that were completely empty, so I don't know what they had. But that is it. Excuse me, y'all. That is it for today, my sweets. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.